thought it's a good time to speak about what buyers and sellers need to know about the year end of the housing market. It is stubborn truth about the real estate market that nobody has a crystal ball. If only we could see exactly what was coming down the road and adjust accordingly, our jobs would have been much easier. Uh, similarly, everything looks remarkably clear in the viewed through, uh, if we view it through the rare view mirror. Uh, if we speak about this spring, it was a tough market with not a lot of inventories, uh, very few homes to choose from, and lots of competition uh, uh, from the buyers. In the retrospect, it seems that the combination of enormous pent-up demand and record low interest rates led homes receiving multiple offers and being snapped up quickly. In the next year, the situation looks like going to be normalized and come more into a balance with things easing up for buyers while being slightly less favorable to sellers, though it still will be a store. It looks like going to be a strong seller's market. Um, it's never easy to say whether we anticipate a good or a bad market for any given reason, uh, as we all know. Uh, the demand is still high, so therefore we believe that it will be still a strong seller's market. You, we cannot compare the apples of the modest November sales having now to the oranges of the brisk May, June, July. That is said, if you are serious, buying opportunities will present themselves and with interest rates being as low as they are now, which is historic, we all know, it is time to buy and when the opportunity shows, you should grab it. As always, with any real estate related questions, feel free to call us 323-935-8680 and enjoy the weekend.